There's a lot of controversy today in the wake of a demonstration held by Get Equal activists outside the home of basketball star Alonzo Mourning yesterday. President Obama was in attendance at a $5,000 a plate fundraiser for the DNC when Get Equal activists held a demonstration by air, land, and sea asking the president to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell. People are saying that this close to the election, they should hold their tongue and not express their feelings because it hurts the chances of Democrats of getting elected in November. But what people seem to misunderstand is that election time is the time when we express how we feel to our representatives and we get to hold them accountable for what they've done or haven't done for the past two years. That's why we have elections. They're not there so that we can play team sports and get people elected and then let them do whatever they want for the next two years. Many people support the Democrats because they just support anybody with a D next to their name. But other people support parties because they believe in things, because they support issues that they care about. The issue of Don't Ask, Don't Tell is personal to a lot of people. There have been an unprecedented wave of teen suicides lately. Teenagers who believe that being LGBT is something to be ashamed of, is something that they need to hide from people, is something that makes them less than. And the fact is that that message is being sent from down on high as long as Don't Ask, Don't Tell is in place. It would be one thing if President Obama and the Democrats had tried hard in order to repeal the, the Don't Ask, Don't Tell. But what's happened is that the football's been passed back and forth from Congress to the White House. Either one could repeal the could stop the discharges right now. President Obama has said that he supports the end of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Vice President Biden went on the Rachel Maddow show a couple of weeks ago and said that they couldn't suspend the discharges of, uh, under Don't Ask, Don't Tell because they had traded that away for the votes in the Senate to repeal it completely. Well, it went to the Senate. The votes weren't there. Democrats voted against it with Republicans to stop it from being repealed. So that meant that either Vice President Biden was lying or he got played. But it really doesn't matter. The president has the ability tomorrow to suspend discharges under Don't Ask, Don't Tell, pending the completion of a Pentagon report on how it would affect the military. If he really does believe what he says, he has the power to do that. And the problem that the Democrats are having this season is not that they haven't done enough. It's that the distance between their actions and their words seems too vast. The promises that have been made seem half-hearted. And when the president does have the ability to do something, like he does under Don't Ask, Don't Tell, he doesn't do it. This is the time when activists should be expressing their feelings. It's when they show their support for the Democratic Party because they support their issue, not in spite of the fact. So those who are telling them to be quiet, who are telling them to pipe down and go home, that's not democracy. That's not what elections are for. That's what team sports are for. And some people don't play for the team just because they have a colored jersey. They play for it because they share the ideals and beliefs. And the party needs to also share those ideals and beliefs in order to earn their support. President Obama made representations about don't ask, don't tell. He said he wants to repeal it. He can stop the discharges. He can stop this right now. And if he wants the support of LGBT activists, they've made it clear that how they feel in advance of the election. And that's what democracy is all about.